Those muskets broke the silence on Sunday afternoon, alerting the presence of newly set Civil War headstones, which were replaced by the 2nd Missouri Company K, along with the John McNeil Camp and Sons of Union veterans of the Civil War. Mark Gar and his daughter Caitley and son Ian helped put the stones in place and is proud to be involved with the dedication. It's, it's been interesting. You know, my son and my daughters learned more about history and what it is to, you know, to remember people that's, you know, fought for our brave and our history and, and that's where we stand at right now. Mark says his company had to contact the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs to initiate the process for the 13 stones, which he estimates took about 14 months to complete. It's truly a family experience as daughter Caitley enjoyed being involved. I love doing it because actually on one of the stones I found somebody's headstone underneath the ground. And we kept on digging that up. We don't have all of it yet, but pieces of it. A good crowd was on hand to relive a part of the area's history, including Joseph Berg, who was impressed with the soldier's sacrifice. It sounded like it was going to be good, and we care for the people that, that spent their lives for us. And honoring their memory is something Mark hopes the public will always remember. They can see what actually maybe happened, uh, the, the difference between both sides, that we all became as one, as a country, and try to bring peace with everybody, you know. Reporting in Kirksville, Omar Tello, KTVO News.